what's going on welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new to my channel my name is Courtney and I would love if you guys subscribe down below today I am filming a get ready with me this is literally the first time I've gotten ready in like two weeks so yeah it felt good to put some makeup on if you guys want to see how I created this look keep watching so we are just gonna get right into the makeup guys I feel like I have not put on makeup in forever like honestly when was the last time i haven't put makeup on in definitely over two weeks which is a very long time for me if you guys have been following along with my vlogs you guys know that i got a micro needling facial done so they just recommend that you don't put makeup on your face for a few days and a few days just turned into like you know two weeks so I'm actually okay with it. I gave my skin a little bit of a break, which was probably needed. But I also, I know you girls can relate, was just feeling so insecure. Not insecure, like I love being natural, but like I feel the best when I'm glammed up and have makeup on and stuff. So I'm very, very excited to do this Get Ready With Me because I just need to feel like, I need to remind myself that I'm actually a decent looking woman. <laughs> because sometimes we all feel just not the best, you know? I actually wanted to talk about those facials that I got because I feel like people wanna know, or if you guys come across this video and you're wondering what facials I got done, I am currently in the process, currently getting something called the Forma Facial, which is a facial that enhances collagen production by using microcurrency tools. Microcurrency, I think that's what it's called. I have done two sessions of it and they recommend to do six. And I, so far, have been loving the results. I actually noticed a change in my my skin. Almost, like I'm not even just saying this, but almost right away. Like, I think it was, yeah, the first session I was like, whoa. My jaw line looks tighter. So it definitely works if anyone is interested in or like wanted to know. I know the Formal Facial is like blowing up right now on Instagram. Well, where I am anyways in Toronto. The Formal Facial is like blowing up on Instagram. So if you guys are curious if it actually works, it does. And if you guys are wondering where I go or looking for a place to go, I go to a girl named Safia. And she works out of a boutique called Skintique. So I'll put all her information down below if you guys are curious to book an appointment. She's amazing. So tonight, me and my girlfriend are going out for dinner and I'm actually gonna, I'm actually also starting a weekend vlog tonight. So you guys will see that whole that whole process, we're going to a one of my favorite little Italian restaurants in Toronto. It's called, I always pronounce it wrong, but it's, I think it's called Restaurant Ros, Rosalina, Ros, Rosanna, Ro, Rosina, something like that. Um, Something along the lines of that. I'll put it right here, the actual name of it, because I'm special and don't remember it. It's authentic Italian food, which I love. I love Italian, so. We're going there. This like almost is the same color as my face makeup, so. Definitely gonna be using this come the winter time because it literally blends in. So this weekend, my plans for the weekend are, Will is at his farm, so it's just me home and I do have some reading and like schoolwork to do, but I want to, I think I'm gonna go see my parents tomorrow and I also wanna go to Home Goods again because I went actually this week and honestly guys, the Home Goods that I go to or like used to go to, literally there's nothing there. Like. Nothing good. I just hope that they're not going out of business because it was almost like it was empty. So 
Let's just hope not because that's like one of my favorite stores. But I'm redoing our bedroom and I just bought this really beautiful chair that I'm gonna be putting in my, our bedroom. I ordered a comforter. What else did I order? I don't remember, but I know I ordered something else. And now all I would need to get is, I need to get, I wanna get some new sheets. I wanna get maybe like a throw blanket, um, some new artwork and some like storage baskets. So I'm gonna do a whole video on me redoing our bedroom. So that should be coming in within the next few weeks. They said that my chair should be here October 9th. So fingers crossed that it actually comes in time, but we'll see. So I'm going in with my Too Faced Naked palette. I have not used this palette in forever. I like went through all my old makeup and threw out so much stuff. It felt so good to just like purge all of my old stuff. And I realized that I have so many uh, makeup palettes. Like I'm still obsessed with makeup, but I went through a phase of buying like all the new palettes. Like when the naked palettes were huge on YouTube, I like went out and bought them. I loved makeup so much. I literally had so much of it. So I just like threw it all out. Not all of it, but most of it. Pretty much just have what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis because like, especially with COVID, it's like, where are we really going, you know? Dying to get away. I think all of us can relate to that. I think like we're all just itching to get away on a trip. It's definitely gonna be the first thing once this is gone and once the vaccine is created, I'm most definitely, Will and I will be going on a trip somewhere. We're thinking Greece. I don't know, somewhere in Europe. I love Europe. So I would definitely wanna see a little bit more of Europe before it's time to have babies, which probably will happen within the next, I don't know. We'll definitely have them within the next like four, four years for sure, or sooner. Depends when I get a ring. I haven't done my eyeshadow in I also don't know if I mentioned on my channel, but I'm gonna be an aunt and I'm so excited because if you guys know me, like on a personal level, you guys know how much children literally light up my world. Like children light up my world like nothing else. I love kids so much. I, ever since I was like a little girl, my parents would always tell me that I was like the kid whisperer. Like I just always had this deep connection with children and I'm going to be an aunt, which is like probably one of my most proudest moments I've ever had in my life so far is finding out that I'm gonna be an aunt for sure, hands down. And I'm gonna spoil the crap out of my niece or nephew, like literally spoil the crap out of them. It's just like such a special moment. Like kids are just so special. Kids are special. It's not the word I was looking for, but. I'm like going through a phase where I just don't feel I go through these phases like not often, but like <sighs> a few times a year where I just feel like not pretty. And I know I am pretty, but like, I don't know. I just, just don't feel pretty. Guys, do you hear the people upstairs? Like literally, that like noises and thumping and music goes on to like 5 a.m. at least like three times a week. It's so annoying. Literally like, what can we do about it? Nothing. We've asked the uh, our like security to go up and say something, but like they don't ever stop. And we used to be able to hear them like having sex from upstairs, like the bed like shaking. <sighs> yeah, it's awesome. Okay, let's do some eyeliner. I have not put, I look crazy with this, but I have not put eyeliner on in like forever. It's crazy how long it's been. Let's see if I can still remember how to do it. I like look 
weirdly like very washed out right now. Not sure why, but I do. Getting my eyebrows done so good. 